Hey guys! Welcome back to Hasu and Deju. This is Deju, and today we'll be drawing a character. And here are some sentences that the character makes. Here's one. I'm ready! And here's, the, here's another one. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And here's a clue. He is yellow and spongy. Okay, here's the character. If you didn't catch it, I'll tell you. It is SpongeBob. SpongeBob, square pants. SpongeBob, square pants. SpongeBob, square pants. All right, so he's spongy. He says, I'm ready to go to the cross cab for work. And he's waiting for the mail, like right next to the mailbox, right in front of this pineapple house. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm ready to draw Spongebob. Are you ready? Well, I think you're ready also. So, let's start. You know it. <laughs> First, we're gonna draw his outside. Like his, so we're gonna draw him sponge, like squirrely, like, you know, squiggly like that. We're gonna draw it all the way, kind of the square. There you see. And then we're gonna draw the other part, like a rectangle sponge. And then coming back down. Okay. Now let's draw his bottom. <laughs> We can also draw it wavy, Ooh, just like a sponge. And now let's draw his square pants. <laughs> so starting from this corner, I can draw square pants. Okay, look like that. Now let's draw his collar. It's gonna be fancy, like that. Fancy collar. <laughs> And now let's draw his bow tie for work and every day. So we can draw like curve. And then starting from one side of the curve, we can draw the tie. The tie's bottom has to touch the square pants and go back up. Just like that. Now let's draw a line to separate his belt. Like that. And now let's do his belt. You know, Spongebob has a belt that is square, the rectangle, you see? So, yeah. Just like that. You see that? Yeah. Now let's draw his feet. Of course Spongebob needs feet. So he can go to the Krusty Krab, the Lagoon, like the beach. <laughs> Lagoon, I can't just say it again. So we're gonna start from here. Draw a slight curve, and then draw back up. And see, see over here. Draw a straight line, a curve, and then back up. So then we're gonna draw two straight lines. So SpongeBob's um, feet are kind of skinny, so we can make it like that. And now let's draw his boots. His boots, if you have recognized his boots have little high heels. So yeah, they're just like bubbles. One bubble and two bubble. I can go a little bit up up and then come back down like that to make his heel. See that? And then now another bubble. Bubble, small bubble and a big bubble. And then we can come back here. Like that, see that? This heel there. Okay. Now we're gonna draw his socks. Oh, don't forget to match these. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Now his sock lines are on. We can color the sock lines there. Now let's draw his arms, armies. If he didn't have arms, how can he carry Bubble Buddy? <laughs> if you watched the episode, Bubble Buddy. So 
so we're gonna draw this kind of like a curved line there, see that? And then starting from one of the sponges, we're gonna draw a sleeve. And the same thing to that. See that? Sleeves, sleeves. Because of his square pants and his collar. <laughs> and then now we're gonna draw the hands. Skinny hands, the thumb, and then three more fingers, like that. See that? One hand, and the second one. So his hands are near to his square pants. So yeah. One thumb, and three more fingers. See, one, two, three, four. He's supposed to have one, two, three, four fingers. Four. <laughs> now, let's draw his face. We're gonna draw his cheek lines first, like that. We're gonna draw his cheeks, like that. And we're gonna draw his like, whisker kinds. You see like the dots on his cheeks. It's like almost a cat, like whiskers. He's like, growing whiskers here, <laughs> but he's not. Okay, now let's draw his big jolly smile. <laughs> we're gonna make it all the way down and back up. Like that. And then starting here, we're gonna make it all the way down like that. Now let's draw his two teeth. Two teeth. One and two. Now let's draw his tongue. One. Leave. Leave like a little gap. Like, see that? Leave a little gap. See that? Like, a little gap and start drawing the other spot. Like, see, now it looks like a real tongue. See that, you leave a little gap up there. And then draw the other part, yeah. Now let's draw his nose. Ooh, <laughs> nose. Like that. Now let's draw his eyes. SpongeBob has the perfect round eyes. So guys, if you wanna make the perfect round eyes, you might have to practice circles. So, hey. Not everyone's perfect at something. So, we can draw the eyes. Okay, that's one eye. So you have to practice drawing circles. Like that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make SpongeBob looking right at us. <laughs> and now, what is SpongeBob missing? Hmm, SpongeBob is missing something. It's a part of a sponge. Of course, holes, duh. <laughs> so we can draw one in here. And then another one over here, just to start off. Another one over here. One over here. Now let's cover these spots. One over here. One over here. Okay. One over folds. SpongeBob has a lot of folds. If it was a 3D, we could make holes over here. That would be cool. Okay, now what is SpongeBob basically missing? Of course, his color. Now it's time to color. SpongeBob, square pants, SpongeBob, square pants. I'm gonna use red for the tie and the socks. So you might have to really look at the socks to memorize it. And then I'm gonna use black for the shoes, yellow for his face, arms, and legs, like part of his legs. And then I'm gonna, um, yeah, I said black, but I'm gonna use browns for his square pants. I'm gonna also use black for his little, little belt, like see, his belt over here. See that, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna also use brown for his shorts. Right here, like you see that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let's take coloring. Okay, so first I'm gonna start out with his face because it's gonna be the hard part after. I'm gonna start out with the curls, so I don't, like, yeah, this is the borders. So I'm gonna do the borders first. Okay, be careful. Okay, so 
his face is ready. Now it's going to his arms. Arms. One arm done. Now let's go on to his legs. Do not cover like do not color these lines there. You can color in the bottom of these lines. See that? Yeah. Just like that. Do brown for his sleeves. Brown sleeves. Now let's draw. Now let's color his shorts. Thread. Okay. And done. Now let's switch on to black. I really like this cover. For some reason, first I'm gonna start out with his belt. Another box done. Okay, now SpongeBob's shoes. Of course. Okay, first I'm gonna draw his high heel real quick. Okay, okay. Color it up. I hear <laughs> when he got a phone call, he put the hair dryer in his. So real quick, one part of the shirt done. Now it's gone. Color his tie, which is red. Really quick, I always want to color his tongue here. Okay. That's like so much easier. Now, we're gonna go down and color his socks. First, I'm gonna start out with this red. Now, we'll be and done. Okay, SpongeBob is ready. So here he is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so yeah. Here's a conversation between SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. It's in Squidward's house. Like, Squidward is so annoyed of SpongeBob and Patrick when they come. So here's one. Like, you know, dialogue. <laughs> so Squidward says this to SpongeBob and Patrick. Get out of my house, SpongeBob. Same to you, Patrick. <laughs> so yeah, it looks so cute. I'm like wobbling here. <laughs> okay. So kids, I really hope you try the funniest character I know. <gasps> so yeah, SpongeBob. He's a like going wobbly. <laughs> So yeah, I really hope um, you guys try it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye! SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants.